I'm standing on the start line and I tell myself, this is where I want to be, this is what I want to do, and three and a half minutes will be over and I'll be a champion. East Africa has a depth and distance running right now which has never been seen in the world. Those guys are running to eat. <laughs> they don't run well, they don't eat. Without a doubt, Fred Mottram is, is the only runner from the Western world right now that has been competitive with the East Africans. There's not many of me and there's a hell of a lot of them. I'm more of an anomaly than they are. They're probably standing on the start like worrying about the big Mazunga. Buster is a superstar and he's the kind of guy that can lift this entire sport. Like a Lance Armstrong can lift cycling, like a Tiger Woods can lift golf. Well, he's, he's already been ranked number four in the world. He's got a bronze medal. He's clearly the best Australian distance runner we've ever had. Australia, one, two, and three. Australia, four. That's near. Six and seven. An African sandwich or something they called it on the television. Craig is right in the middle of it. Sitting pretty, 700 to go. Tap, 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 nice rhythm. Stay out of trouble, stay out of trouble. Bang. Smashed the Powerade fridge and <laughs> ripped the chair over. And I didn't know what I was doing. I was in such good shape. We'd done everything right. We had this plan that we thought would win. And still some guy came out and bashed me into the ground. Everyone calls him Buster. From Australia, Greg Buttram! You just, you're desperate. You've got to be desperate because everybody else that you're racing against is. There's all areas, there's little areas that we can improve. And once we stick them all together and patch up all the little one percenters, I'll be bloody hard to beat, I can tell you, in Beijing.